But the scripture says, there is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. Now that word wicked is used there in Isaiah 57. It doesn't mean that you're a criminal. It doesn't mean that you're vicious. But anyone who is not conforming to the will of God and conforming to the image of Christ is considered in the sight of God wicked. That's what that word wicked is translated from the Hebrew there, means. Now you may have pleasure and fun and merriment and gaiety and good times and delightful times. You may succeed in drowning the voice of your conscience in excitement, pleasure, money getting and something else. But way down in the bottom of your heart, you don't have peace with God. And how many thousands of people privately feel that way? Searching for peace. Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, ready to come into your heart tonight and give you the peace that you're longing for. And that's exactly what Jesus said. He said, in the midst of the hurricane of life, in the midst of the storms of life, I can give you peace. He said, in the world ye shall have tribulation, but I've spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the center of the hurricane, is a place of calm, and that's what Christ brings in the middle of your life. He doesn't remove the hurricane, but he gives peace in the middle of it. And if you don't come to Christ, you sacrifice that. You give it up, and you go all through life with the hurricane turning and churning, and the tornado twisting in your own life. And you lack that deep inward peace that the believer has. And then the second thing, you sacrifice, you sacrifice true joy. David said after he had sinned against God and his joy was gone and he was miserable, he said, restore unto me the joy of my salvation. And how many Christians here tonight? You believe in Christ, but you've lost the joy of your salvation because of sin. And Jesus is promising all the time to replace the worry with joy, his joy. He said that your joy may be full. Whom having not seen ye love in whom, though now ye see him not yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. That's the joy that he provides. Now you're going to miss that. If you don't come to Christ, you'll miss that. And some of you have just enough religion to make you miserable. I don't know anybody any, in the world any more miserable than a person trying to be a Christian who really is. And you know, you can get just a little bit of religion and get a little bit sick. And that keeps you from getting the real thing. And the hardest people in the world to win to Christ are people that have been reared in a Christian home, that have gone to church, and have enough religion to know the language, but they've never known the real joy and the real peace and the real Christ. And they are inoculated against getting the real thing. Those are the miserable people. And then thirdly, you sacrifice hope. And researchers claim that between 70,000 and 80,000 young people between the ages of 15 and 20 attempt suicide every year. Why? Because they have no hope. In hope of eternal life which God, who cannot lie, has promised, hope of the future is more important than anything else. Happy is he whose hope is in the Lord his God, said the psalmist. Paul said we're saved by hope. Paul also said, if in this life only we have hope, we're of all men most miserable. My hope is in the world to come as well as in this world. The coming again of Christ, the kingdom that he's going to set up, the time when there will be peace on the world, on the earth. Which would you rather be? A millionaire tonight and tomorrow found to be an embezzler and put into prison for the rest of your life? Or would you rather be penniless tonight 
and certain of being a millionaire in eternity. I'll take being the millionaire in eternity. <laughs>